dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we remember St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, virgin and foundress of the missionaries, uh, the missionaries of the Sacred Heart. She's an important saint in the history of the American church. She is actually the first American citizen to be canonized a saint. She was born in 1850 and died in 1917 at the age of 67. Uh, St. Francis was born to a very faithful family who knew how to say yes to God. They had 13 children. She was born prematurely and was weak and sickly as a child, and yet God used her, a, a feeble creature in some respects, to do amazing works. Uh, she first conceived a, a strong desire and intention to become a missionary at the age of 13 when she heard a uh, visiting missionary preaching about the Chinese missions. And so her, her, she began to focus um, her energies on, on that dream. And she did well in school. She, she studied under the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. And then when she was old enough and passed through the school system, um, she had it in her heart to herself become a sister. Uh, she was turned down from the first two orders that she approached, including the one that um, schooled her. Then she was asked by the Bishop of Codogno to come and form uh, the women who were running an orphanage into a community, and she did that, and that's when she first took her habit, and uh, Pope John Paul II on the occasion of the 150th anniversary of her birth um, said that that was the turning point in her life. So she spent a number of years, more than she expected, in Codogno, but um, eventually the bishop had to close that orphanage that she was in charge of. And at that point, uh, he suggested to her, since there were no missionary orders for women that he was aware of, why, doesn't, why didn't she, wouldn't she just go ahead and start one herself? And, uh, and that's how that happened. Then she took seven of the women that were with her at the orphanage and went, and with, with nothing really, materially, but great faith, and uh, an abandoned Franciscan monastery, she began the first community of the Sisters of Charity, excuse me, the Sisters, the Missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Her, her motto or her maxim was from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. And as I said, she was born prematurely and was sickly, and yet the Lord used her first uh, to go to America. She had, had gone to Rome. She had approached uh, the Pope with this dream, and he famously said to her, not to the east, but to the west. And he asked her to go to America, where um, at that time, at the turn of the century, there was a great influx of Italian immigrants going to seek uh, employment and a life in America, and they arrived with nothing, so in, in often extreme poverty, maybe they didn't know the language, there really was no structure to receive them, and so the Pope appointed her to go and uh, minister to them, and so it's noted that she had a terrible fear of water, and yet she got on the ship and went over to America. When she arrived, there was no house for her or her sisters. The bishop had sent a letter apologetically saying that, you know, the house that he had hoped to give them fell through and that they shouldn't come. But the, the, the letter crossed 
paths would be, miss them in the transit. And so she arrived, no, no house, and um, the bishop suggested to her, listen, just get back on the boat and go home. And she said, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm here because the Pope sent me. And so she persevered, and within three months, she had established an orphanage and a school. And, and then her life was one of um, just amazing fruits. She ended up, um, before her death, establishing 67 different houses around the world, not just in the United States, but also in Brazil and Argentina um, and in a number of other countries. Her faith then was, as we heard in yesterday's gospel, like a mustard seed, very, in that it blossomed, it, it, it turned out um, to be able to produce these amazing fruits. And she, that was all she really relied on. There's a quote from her um, that shows her complete reliance on divine providence. Lord, you are the one who acts. I am not even an instrument in your hands, as others say. You alone are the one who does all, and I am nothing more than a spectator of the great and wonderful works that you know how to accomplish. She was able to do this through her great faith, through her prayer, and despite whatever obstacles and rejections and disappointments came, she persevered in faith and through her, the Lord then reached many, many people and saved souls and helped them in their uh, material needs as well. We can learn then uh, in this time that again is a time of such great need for uh, the grace of God to turn things around in a world that's just fallen into darkness and uh, is moving ever more away from God. From St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, we, we should learn not to focus on the magnitude of the problem, but on the power of the Almighty God who can fix anything so easily if we just open ourselves to his grace and to his, his working in us. And like yet we heard yesterday in the parable of the mustard seed, focus on love of him uh, and faith, and also not on ourselves. I just want to share with you one thing that, um, a f some advice from St. Francis to one of her sisters, because we can get caught up in doubt and, and even depression, and a lot of people suffer from depression today. And so her advice to one of the sisters, why, dearest sister, do you waste time in sadness when time is so precious for the salvation of poor sinners? Get rid of your melancholy immediately. Don't think anymore about yourself. Don't indulge in so many useless and dangerous reflections. Carry your cross, but carry it joyfully, my daughter. Think that Jesus loves you very much. So that's another thing we need to do is not to look too much at our own weakness, or our own misery, but focus on love of Christ. Don't worry about ourselves. Just carry our cross and trust that he will do for us what he wants to do and help us do the mission that he wants us to complete. So let us pray then. Uh, like St. Francis Xavier, to have a great trust, to be able to say yes to God's will, and with her say, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Praise be Jesus and Mary.